We have a number of special guests here today, and I'm going to just recognize them before we begin our program. We have um, the Deputy Council General uh, Jun Sik Kim, we have Eugene Yang, Wellen Koo Chung, Bu Wen Brown, uh, Jennifer Sun, Samuel Chung, and many, many others that Michael Park will correct me if I mispronounce their names. I also want to recognize Madam Chair uh, Michael Park, who was the first two-time mayor in the history of Federal Way and was, uh, more importantly, uh, the father of two daughters who uh, interned for me here at the county courthouse. And it's good to see Michael Park, who is highly respected within the Korean community. Uh, Madam Chair, we have before us a recognition, which I'm going to read briefly and then bring up uh, the new council general. Whereas the Korean American community is a strong and vibrant community with more than 1.9 million Koreans living in the United States, more than 180,000 living in the local consulate's jurisdiction of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and Alaska, and over 85,000 residing in King County. Whereas the Republic of Korea and the Puget Sound region have forged strong economic and cultural ties through times of peace and times of war, times which enrich our region. And whereas Washington's strategic location on the Pacific Rim makes the Republic of Korea the state's fourth largest trading partner with commercial partnerships on items ranging from aerospace to computers and electronic devices, machinery to agricultural products. And whereas Council General Unji Un Un Su, a former Director General of the Bureau of Public Diplomacy and Cultural Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at the Republic of Korea, serves a vital role in strengthening the relationship between the Republic of Korea and the Puget Sound region. And whereas the Korean Americans have established strong roots in the Pacific Northwest and continued to uh, uh, continue to improve our region by strengthening our professional and business associations, service organizations, as well as churches. Now, therefore, we, the Metropolitan King County Council, recognize Council General Un Ji Su and the contributions of the Korean American community and encourage all county residents to acknowledge the accomplishments of our Korean community and support the Council General as she continues to build bridges between the Republic of Korea and the United States. I'm going to... Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair and members of the King County Council, in so many ways, uh, the last century was the century of the Atlantic Ocean. The next century is a century of the Pacific Ocean. And so much of the Pacific Ocean is going to be shaped by the work that we do with the Republic of Korea. We have been very benefit, benefited in King County by a strong connection culturally, economically, and socially with the Korean community. And I want to thank, again, through the Council General, through people who preceded her, like Mike Park, the longtime political leader and economic leader, and is now heading up a wonderful educational program in Federal Way, bringing together young people in the Korean community. So I want to thank the Council General and ask her to come forward and maybe share some thoughts on how this special relationship we have. Again, the, in my opinion, the, the Pacific Rim is the next future of this region and our, our country. In the last century, the special relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States was so important. But in the next century, it's the relationship between the United States and the Republic of Korea that's going to shape the Pacific Rim. Council General. The Honorable Claudia Balducci, Council Chair, Council Members of King County, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased and honored to be invited today as a special guest to King County Council. My sincere thanks go to the Honorable Pitbat Lao Bayer for arranging, arranging this occasion. This county stands as a living monument to the spirit of diverse and dynamic community with a healthy economy and an environment where all people, businesses, and organizations have the opportunity to thrive as stated in the vision statement of King County. It is known for being abundant in scientific and technological innovation, 
where the headquarters of Amazon and Microsoft, the world's leading IT companies reside, as well as other leading global businesses, such as Costco and Starbucks. If all that weren't enough, it is also home for approximately 2.2 million residents, including more than 80,000 Koreans and Korean Americans. King County, in the northwest of the United States, located relatively close to Korea, has been actively contributing for years to exchanges and trades between Korea and the United States. I believe that King County will further play a crucial role in the cooperation between two countries for future alliances. Madam Chair, last May, a summit meeting was held between the new President of the Republic of Korea, Yoon Song Yeol, and President Biden. It marked the earliest, earliest summit in a Korean President Termin office with the US President. The summit was significant in addressing three major areas of concern, military security, economic and technological partnerships, and the promotion of a rule-based order in regional and global affairs. Before then, Korea-US relationship has worked under two major agreements. The mutual defense treaty between the ROK and the US, forged during the Korean War in 1953, and the Korea-US free trade agreements in 2002. As a result of this recent summit, the two leaders laid out clear vision for enhancing our partnership into a global, comprehensive, strategic alliance, global in scope and comprehensive in content. In particular, our countries with global capability in technology and manufacturing will promote collaboration in cutting edge sectors as in the development of and production of semiconductors, electric vehicle batteries, nuclear energy, aerospace, the cybersecurity, and the biotechnology. I would like to highlight that King County's diverse and dynamic community with a healthy economy and forward-looking environmental policies is a very embodiment of the vision of the Global Comprehensive Strategic Alliance. Above all, the Korean government values the bilateral relations between King County and the Republic of Korea, where there is extensive cooperation through the global tech companies, academic institutions such as the University of Washington, and many other important entities that contribute to the development of the alliance in the spirit of innovation, creativity, and openness. Today, I speak with absolute confidence that the true strength of our nations comes not from the military might of the bilateral alliance, but from the spirit of innovation, openness, academic freedom, and the unyielding hope which underlies the enduring power of ideas. It is that spirit that, the, that stirs in every soul of a King County residents including the Koreans living here. Madam Chair, I'm quite aware that King County embraces its wonderful diversity and is fully committed to safety, security, and equal treatment of its residents. Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have been instrumental in shaping King County's economy, politics, culture, and education. Thus, I would like to ask of King County to make every effort to protect Koreans and Korean Americans whose entrepreneurship, labor, innovation, history, and culture have been integral to making King County the ideal and prosperous place it is today. Therefore, the vision of diversity and dynamic community embracing all minorities including Korean Americans, contribute to the sound economy, sustainable environment, and proud atmosphere of this county. I know of a saying, what leads us to the past is our memory, and what leads us to the future is our dreams. 
let us always encourage our future generations to dream of a greater society, uniting all races, respecting human rights, following the rule of law and justice to promote true global citizenship. The next generation will be a stronger entity for forming such alliances between our two nations. Last but not least, this year is the 140th anniversary of diplomatic relations between South Korea and the United States. As a celebration, we are planning to hold a reception and a cultural event, a fashion show introducing Korean national dress hanbok at the Museum of Flight on Friday, October 28th. This event will also celebrate National Day of Korea. Take, I take this opportunity to invite you all to this event. Madam Chair, as a Council General of the Republic of Korea, I will build more bridges among Korea, Korean American community, King County, Washington State, and the United States to fulfill the global comprehensive strategic alliance. I look forward to our joint efforts in pursuit of this noble goal. Finally, let me repeat the slogan symbolizing the Korea-US alliance in Korean, 같이 갑시다. We go together. Thank you very much. 감사합니다. Thank you. Madam Chair, uh, on behalf of my colleagues, I would like to also present uh, an orchid. An orchid is a symbol of friendship and strength, and that is a symbol between our country, our region, and the Republic of Korea. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. We can come down. If there are any questions first uh, of our special guest, she, I, I might add, and I know Councilmember Balducci knows this, she is the first female uh, Council General in the history of the special relationship between the Republic of Korea and this region. So we're very honored to have her here. I'm honored Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councilmember Von Reichbauer and our honor Consul General and uh, guests for that lovely presentation. One thing our countries uh, have always shared, have long shared, is a commitment to democ democracy and self-rule, and uh, I look forward to uh, advancing the interests of, of open and transparent and responsive government to the people across our, our two nations.